Tonight, the Biden administration is working to avoid a railroad strike that could hammer our economy. Already, Amtrak is canceling long-distance routes starting tomorrow. Metrolink, Ventura, Orange, and IE routes could be canceled as well. Well, KKL 9's Rick Montanez is live at Union Station to look at the potential local impact. Rick? Well, Pat and Juan, tonight, routes to and from L.A. are already canceled as well. And this could have a big impact on our economy locally. So we went to a supply chain expert who says all of this could lead to an increase in the already soaring inflation. From Metrolink to Amtrak, a lot of passenger service across the country and in the Southland could stop by Friday. The impending strike by rail workers has commuters concerned. That's probably going to add uh, at least an hour and a half. Pete Hoffman rides from San Clemente to Irvine daily, and he knows the rail strike could do more than stretch out his commute. We've already had all the container issues and the freight issues going on. Now we got the train issues. I mean, it's like it's never ending. An estimated 30% of all U.S. freight shipments could be impacted by the strike. The system is constrained. It is capped. There is no slack. So I think this will come and really bite us bad in terms of the economic impact. USC business professor and global supply chain expert Nick Vias says without the freight trains moving, the ports in L.A. and Long Beach will once again back up. Containers coming in on ships would only be able to move by truck, and that would lead to an increased economic crunch. Ultimately, consumer ends up bearing the cost of those disruptions. So we will continue to see higher prices, shortages, and it could have a huge impact on inflation that's already been high. In preparation for a strike, Amtrak canceled long-distance routes. Those already impacted include L.A. to San Antonio, L.A. to Seattle, New Orleans to L.A., and Chicago to L.A. These routes operate on tracks maintained by freight railroads. I'm, I'm okay if they, if they need to keep striking to get what they need and they feel it's right. I think it's worth it. Having to drive it back and forth to Riverside, it's going to be it's going to be a little bit of a financial crunch. It's a lot cheaper and easier for me to take the train. Professor Vaya says if the strike happens and lasts, for example, just one week, he says the supply chain is so fragile it could take several weeks to recover from that. As for those passenger routes, the cancellations for most of them would begin on Friday. Reporting live at Union Station, Rick Montanez, KCAL 9 News.